Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven races. Hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call my big buddy. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Dabish. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss! Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen. There's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Scan this thing for bucks? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Bill? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Enceladis have a falling out. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. Shit, you seen any choppers? Any birds been in the sky? I didn't pick you for a helicopter enthusiast. Fuck you, I ain't. I just keep thinking these choppers is following me, that's all. The feds are watching my every move. I flip out even when I'm outside. Keep your head. Things ain't even started yet. What are we doing? Taking a shipment of coke from some Russians before they can sell it to the enchiladas. I'm paranoid because we especially don't want to get caught on this one. We get caught and everyone will be coming after us. The feds will throw away the key. The Russians and the enchiladas know we was fucking them over. Hell, our own family might come after us for fear we'll turn states. Hey, man, this familiarity is getting to me. I'm a friend of Ray's? I'm part of the family? Shit, man, I'm just the hired hell. I'm the fucking immigrant maid cleaning up your guy's shit. I ain't part of no family. I'm an independent contractor. Sure, sure, I get that. Whatever makes it all make sense in your head. Family's a way of saying we ain't gonna fuck each other. At least that's what it's meant to me. All I care about is that you're loyal enough to get the jobs done and not turn states. I'll get the jobs done if the money is there. And I ain't gonna turn states. Enough governments have let me down in the past. I don't know why I trust this one. That's the attitude. These guys promise you a new life if you screw every person who ever did a kind thing for you. Then they ship you off to Ohio and get you selling microwaves. There ain't no action, and the only cannolis you're gonna see are the ones on TV. It's all internet porn and dreaming about home. It ain't no life. Depends how you define life. 
All right, this is the truck. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. They're gonna let us take the coke with this truck then, are they? That's the plan. Whether it works or not remains to be seen. You know some? I would've liked Ray to be on this job instead of me. But there's some things that he ain't trusted with. I don't think I'd trust him to send me on another job after the shit he had me doing. After all of that, you guys didn't even get the diamonds. That wasn't a successful operation by any way you look at it. I'm hoping that this endeavor is gonna be more fruitful. For the record, I did everything I was meant to do. The problem was race planning and the amount of people involved. Too many people wanted that dice. No one was ever going to end up with it. Well, a lot of people want to get a hold of this merchandise as well. By your logic, that means it's going to end up dissolving into the Humboldt River. I don't want that to happen. Me neither. Maybe if we want it more than anyone else, we'll be able to hang on to it. It's gonna take more than wanting it real bad. It's gonna take a clear head. Raise a greedy rat. He wants this stuff more than anyone else. But that don't mean he's gonna get it. He's got his eyes on my position. The skip is too, I'm sure. Wanting it and getting it are two different things, though. Every move he makes is so obvious. It's disgusting to see him trying to sleaze his way up the ladder. His moves might be easy for you to see, but maybe they're working. Maybe he's getting somewhere. He definitely knows a lot of people. Shit, if anyone does start listening to Ray's shit, then I could be in some trouble. I'm hoping that day don't come. That truck was part of the plan. You start cutting corners and you get sloppy. See you around. That truck was part of the plan. You start cutting corners and you get sloppy. See you around. The overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Two face Impressive jerk off. Maybe we should just listen to the radio this trip. I ain't never met the likes of you, you fucking prick!
All right, this is the truck. Waste if I don't fuck up a guy a day. It's what I'm good at. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone. <laughs> Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies. <laughs> Relax. Nice meth line. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies! No, Nico, on me!
out this mother. Nico! We lost some of that sugar. It ain't no good taking it from the Russians if we can't sell it ourselves. Ciao. Lost some of that sugar. It ain't no good taking it from the Russians if we can't sell it ourselves. Ciao. some of that sugar. It ain't no good taking it from the Russians if we can't sell it ourselves. Ciao. Okay, look. All right, this is the truck. Come on, Jesus! This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies.
get the one on the left. Come on, move it, Nico. You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. Shit, Nico! What we meant to do with a boat on dry land? That coke's lost! It's lost to us, man! Later. about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned wrong about you get out of the truck real slow nico looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way 